evening peeps just doing a little uh, test and uh, working on a track so a woman's going to be singing this so excuse my vocals and uh, hopefully she's going to belt it out in places so I won't bore you anymore here we go as you can see here uh, had to flatten the tracks. You want it, you got it. So I'm recording it at the same time as showing you here. When you move it around like this, it's easy to get glitches and jump and what have you. As you can see, it's. Uh, it's a lot of work going in there. To the processor rear engine load maxes out at 96 percent sample in there. That's my voice. As you can see, all that's cut up and sampled on the beat. Rise here. The world for what it is. Program with this code. They want you to live. It's getting there, isn't it? So, I had to flatten these tracks here, you see. Uh, these top four, they're MIDI. So, if I show you what a MIDI's like, if I just unflatten that track there, you can see all the details here, there, in that track. All the notes that's just over here I'm so you listen to that build up so 
something like those there. It takes ages uh, to ride the middies in uh, build up. And uh, in fact, if I show you how multi tracks there, then you can see all the midi up in a little cluster there. my mixer console, these are your buses over here look, these are the tracks over here, so you see all these, these plugins, yeah, so quite technical <laughs> this track, there's a, a hell of a lot to it, I think when you freeze a track like that it purges something like 115 plugins through the chain and everything else, because I'm going through patches here. So they're like, uh, it's like an auxiliary pack, so what I'm sending a drum room to before I send it to a bus, so the technical people don't understand, so anyway, I'm just doing a little demo, and I did hear something up here, whilst I was actually showing you it, it didn't, it sounded right, but on the last note, it was only a little, it was my bit, ah there it is, it was the effect there, it was that one wasn't it? Let's solo it there, we can see what we're doing. See the, the delay on that, what well, I've put the delay on it. Oh, you hear it, hear it. Listen to the delay. Bang, there. Needs to cut it out there, I think. Yeah, because that's going into a D minor and then we're going into an F major, so that echoes. Uh, I can hear it in the track, a lot of people won't hear that, but things like that annoy me. So, uh, you can't hear it, but I can there. Uh, what I could do there to stop it is just copy and paste that one down for a second, and I could pull that there, just so it, so when that echoes going from a D minor it jumps into an F, no, so what I could do there from there is, is, is if I put one there and just cut it straight down there, want to get a bit of it, no that'd be too much of it wouldn't it, so maybe, in fact actually just uh, delete, delete that node, so it goes down gradually into the F, try that. Yeah, so we will hear that now. three times in specific areas, they're like uh, a bit of a transition in certain areas, that one's going, that one there's going into the chorus, this chorus is going up a bit, I can hear the delay in here a bit, sorry it's come through the speaker not on this, sorry it will come through the speaker on this, anyway. There you go, peeps. That's uh, something that I'm working on. Good evening. Over and out.